So for this upcoming exhibition in 2016, we have selected about 75 models from the Cornell collection. The models in the Cornell collection were um, purchased around um, sometime in the 1880s, but the Blaschka started making the invertebrate models around 1860. Well, one of the first things we did when choosing the pieces for the exhibition next year was to assess the condition of the pieces and how long the treatment might take. One of the things that makes the Blaschka models so complicated in terms of conservation is that they used a lot of different materials other than glass. So they used different types of glues. One of the main ones is animal glues. So 100 years is pushing it pretty far for an animal glue. But it is very interesting. We know that the materials that they used, even though they're 120, 130 years old, are at risk. Many of them have held up incredibly well. But since we can't examine and test every single model, we don't really know which materials were used on the specific model we're working on. Fortunately, we chose maybe 30 or 40 models which were in really excellent condition almost no damage whatsoever or just one minor piece of damage and all they required was simple cleaning. Certainly uh, that was a big issue because there's only two of us to actually clean and then treat the pieces. So we, we made some difficult decisions. The cleaning process we've developed is to do a dry cleaning which we do with a soft brush and a vacuum that's set at a, a low suction power so it doesn't suck up the whole model. <laughs> And then we have netting on the vacuum cleaner so that if a small piece does come off, it doesn't get lost. So we do a dry cleaning first, and then if we need to, we'll do a, a solvent cleaning with a petroleum ether, which is a very mild solvent that doesn't affect any of the materials that they are likely to have used on the models. Cleaning is what some models only require. Others required a, a little bit more careful cleaning under the microscope. We do see some deterioration taking place now, and it's going to continue. So one of the things that we are most concerned about is stabilizing this collection. These models are 130 years old. The adhesives are that old, and adhesives don't last forever. So we're taking a very non-invasive approach with the cleaning, so doing as little as possible. So one of the more complicated pieces I've been working on is the Hydra. It is one of the more badly broken pieces, so it's pretty complicated, um, which for me is kind of fun because it's you know, challenging and you have to figure out new ways to solve the problems that it has. They're, they're wonderful, wonderful pieces to work on, both from the challenging aspect but also just the nature of what the Blaschkas were trying to achieve is to make a model of a living specimen and to make it as accurately as possible. They were geniuses in reproducing natural specimens in glass and they represent nature at its best and it's the only real way we can, even today, represent these outside of digital photography.